Welcome to the Dave Show. My name is Dave, and today I'm here to talk about this Go Fort power station. It's a 1500 watt power station. Now, they did send me this product for review, but they wanted me to show you what it is and how it works. So, we're going to take a closer look at this, and I'm going to talk about some of the bells and whistles and features of this as we check it out. So, let's go do that now. Okay, looking at the top of the unit first, if we press this down and open it, it's actually a little lid with a compartment. Inside here, you will find your power supply. Uh, this is for your uh, 110 outlet to plug this in and charge it that way. You also get a cigarette lighter adapter. If you're in a long road trip, you can plug this into a car and charge your battery that way. This has a special little end to it. I'll show you where that goes there. So you can charge this up actually three ways. You can do it through a 110 outlet, you can do it through your car, or you can do it through solar panels. And if you have those portable solar panels, they have the same kind of plug as this. It'll go in at the same place and charge the unit up. Uh, now, if you don't want to store your cables in there, you can also store a bunch of other things. And this has a little light feature to it um, that if you um, if the unit is on and you press this you can see that it it lightens up it does, it's a light let's see if I can get it to where you can see it um, we kind of can see it there um, and then if you press it again it goes even brighter it's super bright it'll flash like an emergency strobe oh, it looks like it's SOS and then you can turn it off. That is super, super bright. So if you need emergency light, you just open up the lid and turn it on. Really cool. Besides the little storage container part of it here, you do have your handles built in. So these are very heavy duty handles. This thing is about a 27 pounds. So it's got a little weight to it, but um, it's easy to carry with this. Now looking at the face of the unit, I actually have this laying down on one side. You probably don't really want to do that in normal usage, but this way you can see it better on the camera. Um, over here is your 12-volt um, DC outlet. So, you know, it's got a cigarette lighter adapter. So if you have any kind of thing that plugs in through a cigarette lighter adapter, like a like a, even an air pump or anything like that, you can plug things into there, um, like that part or even a car charger. And it does have two of these little DC uh, barrel-type connectors, so depending Depending again if you have something that uses that kind of cable and to turn this section on you're gonna press this button and that lights up there and oh, see it lights up there and it says right here DC and then this side here is some USB charger so you have a regular USB you have a, um, a USB that has a, um, uh, a quick charger to it it says here USB a times 2 24 watts max and then you actually have a type C charger here that's a hundred watt max output power delivery output very nice again there's a little button here to turn it on and you can see those indicators there now i do have this on already this is your on off button for the whole unit so if i press and hold it you'll see that it'll go off you press and hold it it will actually come back on there you go. It says safe, intelligent, fast charging. Now it says intelligent because it does have a lot of safety features in it. Um, it will prevent from overloading input um, power or output power. You can see right now it's 100% charged. I did charge this up ahead of time. It says 99 hours of use um, based on there's nothing going on. There's nothing coming in and nothing coming out. And then again, when you when you uh, turn these things on, these come on. Now there's some information. There's some uh, uh, AC outlets on the back side of this. So I'm, I'm going to show you that in a minute. But this little button here is also a menu button. If you if you um, hit it kind of downwise, it's like a little joystick. It says settings. I can hit that button, and now you can see that it'll come down, and you can change the language, frequency, brightness, charging speed, auto shutdown if you want it to shut down automatically by itself, and then an about type um, message um, now it's not touch screen but you just have to scroll through this and then when you want something you just press I'm gonna uh, let's go to maybe brightness press it and then you can you know left and right on the little joystick press it again to accept it oh actually go down press it down to the back I almost didn't see that and go back it goes back so then I'm gonna come up here and go back to that arrow and it comes back to the main 
screen there. Um, so very, very nice. Again, it shows you all this information on here. Now, there's a lot of other things that will pop up depending on when you have stuff plugged in, like a little fan indicator. Um, if you're if you plug it in with uh, solar, it'll give you a little solar indicator and so forth on there. The manual does a really good job with explaining what each piece does. Now, let's go ahead and look at the back side of this. So on this side here, this is where your inputs are. This is your DC input, and that's where your cigarette lighter uh, adapter will go into or your solar panels will go into there. This is an expansion battery port. So this here, this company makes a separate battery pack that if you wanted to extend the battery on that, you can use this as the controller and a separate battery pack that plugs in right here so you can extend this system out. And this is your AC plug. That's your uh, your regular plug, this one here, that you use to you know, plug it in your wall and charge it up. And then it gives you three regular 110 outlets or 120 outlets for plugging stuff in like your regular appliances so if you're out camping and you want to put your espresso machine or your blender for some margaritas or charge up laptop or anything that you need to plug into this type of thing um hair dryers curling irons uh, again portable stuff if you're out camping if you're at home for emergencies you might want to plug a refrigerator in so your food doesn't spoil now it does say the ac output is 1500 watts and this is the button to turn that on so i'm going to turn that on and then show you on the front screen as well um, and when we go and test it, uh, that's your on off there. But again, this does have a boost up to 2,500 watts. If, if some, some machines, some appliances take a little boost to get them rolling and then it drops down a little bit uh, there. But you can plug in um, all kinds of stuff, you know, up at the front, plug in this way or the, the USB or any of those other places. As long as you're about 1,500 watts or less, it should run everything. And then on the sides, there are actually a fans. There's there's a fan on both sides. There's one on this side, one on the other side that keeps it cool uh, because there's a lot of power on this thing coming in and going out. It does generate a lot of heat, so this has its own built-in cooling system. So I have my coffee maker. It's an espresso machine because who wouldn't want a nice cup of espresso when you're out camping? So I do have my, my laptop plugged in. It is charging. The battery pack is charging. My phone is charging. And we have the espresso maker machine. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start that as soon as it's ready. And we're going to make a cup of espresso and see what the wattage looks like on that. Okay, now you can see that it's gone up. We're at right down here is your wattage output. And I just turned it over to the uh, warming cycle of it. So it's just warming. Now the pump is not on or anything. And from the uh, label on the machine, it says it is about 1100 watts. Okay, so now it's warmed up. I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to coffee. Okay, there's a little jump. I was going to say it wasn't much, but now there's a little jump in power. Right, you can see the little fan on right here. Your AC outlets, all these outlets are on. It tells you how many, 51 minutes of usage. Again, that's the wattage of outgoing. So there you have it. What do you think? A nice big cup of espresso right there with charging my phone charging my batteries for my cameras charging my laptop you can see this can handle a lot and it didn't even push it to the max it was at less than a thousand watts and everything is being charged so again you can plug in even more things if you need to so they have it a look at the go fort 1500 watt power supply system and testing and you know who wouldn't want a nice cup of coffee when you're out camping or again you can use this to charge up all kinds of stuff great to have for emergencies or when you're traveling and camping so if you are looking for something like this this one may be the right one for you